Hi guys, it's October 16, 2014. I want to thank the viewer of the video that I just posted, I don't know, an hour and a half ago, who left this link. Many of you know Able Danger, um, so it's a very important article and I want to post it on my channel. I hope you all listen carefully and consider the information that I'm about to read, and I'm reading it because I have read articles, watched videos, and a lot of information that I'm about to read has been corroborated by other people. So, let's get into it. From Ghana, Ebola is not real, and the only people who have gotten sick are those who have received treatments and injections from the Red Cross. Other than the original Facebook post, this website is the first one to carry this, and it needs to be spread. The future may be riding on this one, archive, post, post, and repost. So, update. Nana Guamis, and I'm, I apologize if I am if I'm mispronounce names. I'm really horrible with names. Okay. Nana Guamis Facebook became inaccessible from America and probably other places, but it still works from Mexico. They are censoring this geographically because it is too important. Here is how it all appears, and this is the link. Nana's Facebook, reference business Facebook, and reference business website, all proving this really did come from Ghana. Okay, Nana Guami wrote, People in the Western world need to know what's happening here in West Africa. They are lying. Ebola as a virus does not exist and is not spread. The Red Cross has brought a disease to four specific countries for four specific reasons and is only contracted by those who receive treatments and injections from the Red Cross. That is why Liberians and Nigerians have begun kicking the Red Cross out of their countries and reporting in the news the truth. Now, bear with me. Reasons. Most people jump to depopulation, which is no doubt always on the mind of the West when it comes to Africa. But I assure you, Africa can never be depopulated by killing 160 people a day when thousands are born per day. So the real reasons are much more tangible. Reason one, this vaccine implemented sickness being called Ebola was introduced into West Africa for the end goal of getting troops on the ground in Nigeria, Liberia, and Sierra Leone. If you remember, America was just trying to get into Nigeria for Boko Haram bullshit, but that fell apart when Nigerians started telling the truth. There are no girls missing. Global support fell through the floor, through the floor, and a new reason was needed to get troops into Nigeria and steal the new oil reserves, reserves they have discovered. Remember Michelle Obama? We want our girls back. The We want our girls back campaign. Sick, disturbed people. Okay, reason two. Sierra Leone is the world's largest supplier of diamonds. For the past four months, they have been on strike, refusing to provide diamonds due to horrible working conditions and slave pay. The West will not pay a fair wage for the resources because the idea is to keep these people surviving on rice bags and foreign aid so that they remain a source of cheap slave labor forever. A reason was also needed to get troops on the ground in Sierra Leone to force an end to the diamond miner strikes. This is not the first time this has been done. When miners refuse to work, troops are sent in, and even if they have to kill and replace them all, the only desire is to get diamonds back flowing out of the country. Of course, to launch multiple campaigns to invade these countries separately would be way too fishy, but something like Ebola allows access to an entire area simultaneously. How fabulous. Reason three. In addition to stealing Nigerian oil and forcing Sierra Leone back to mining, troops have also been sent in to force vaccinations, deadly Ebola poison, onto those Africans who are not foolish enough to take them willingly. 3,000 troops are being sent in to make sure that this poison continues to spread. Because again, it is only spread through vaccination. As more and more news articles are released, as they have been in Liberia, one of those I posted on my video a while ago, 
on my channel, I'm sorry, um, of doctor who was talking about what was happening in Sierra Leone and that Sierra Leone was kicking out the researchers from Fort Detricks and Tulane University because there was a whole lot of speculation that it was the treatment that was causing the sickness of those in one particular area. Kenneman, I want to say. I can't remember the, the uh, name of the city. So I, I'm just saying that, yes, I have read articles that corroborate what I'm reading right now. Okay. So let me read that again. As more and more news articles are released, as they have been in Liberia, informing the populace of the U.S. lies and manipulation, more and more Africans are refusing to visit the Red Cross. Troops will force these vaccinations upon the people to ensure the visible appearance of an Ebola pandemic. In addition to this, they will protect the Red Cross from the Liberians and Nigerians who have been rightfully ejecting them from their country, countries. Reason four, last but not least, the appearance of this Ebola pandemic, should Americans not catch on, will be used to scare the countless millions into taking an Ebola vaccine, which in reality is the pandemic. Already they have started with stories of how it has been brought to the United States and has appeared in Dallas, how white doctors were cured, but black infected are not being allowed to be treated. Well, there have been news articles about the family of Thomas Duncan, very upset about how he was treated or not treated. Okay, all that will do is make blacks strive to get the vaccine because it appears that the cure is being held back from blacks. They will run out in droves to get it and then there will be serious problems. With all we have seen revealed about vaccines this year, you would think we learned our lesson. All I can do is hope so, because they rely on our ignorance to complete their agendas. Ask yourself if Ebola really was spread from person to person instead of controlled spread through vaccination, then why would the CDC and the US government continue to allow flights in and out of these countries with absolutely no regulation? or at all. We have got to start thinking and sharing information globally because they do not give the truth, the true perspective of the people who live here in West Africa. They are lying for their own benefit and there aren't enough voices out there with a platform to help share, to help share our reality. Hundreds of thousands have been killed, paralyzed and disabled by these and other new vaccines all over the world and we are finally becoming aware of it. Now what will we do with all this information? Well, one thing I'll do is post it on my channel and ask my subscribers to circulate this information. And, you know, look, all the videos that are posted on a whole lot of channels with people who are presenting evidence of it, very good evidence that what we're seeing being, you know, reported on mainstream media about what's happening in West Africa staged. It's staged. You know, Boko Haram, oh my God, all these girls go missing. Michelle Obama, you know, um, I'm just going to look sad for the camera and I'm going to hold up a, an 8 by 10 that says, we want our girls back. Are you kidding me? So that didn't work? So now we've got this going? The 3,000 troops? Of course they weren't going there. Our troops are trained to fight. They're not trained to handle medical crises. Of course they're going there to protect the Red Cross and to force a whole lot of people to get these vaccines, which will end up making them sick. And that, look, the vaccine's coming here, guys. You know, if we can't wake up Americans, the, what's happening here in this country could very well lead to mandatory vaccinations and a whole lot of people are going to get sick. Let me know what you think. I really, really, really appreciate your comments. I read every one of them. I wish I could respond to every one of them, but I'm dealing with my own stuff. My own physical health is really pretty shot from the frequencies and the toxic air that I'm breathing and other reasons, but 
you know, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling pretty exhausted and my brain is like sluggish. And I know that a lot of you are feeling the same. But I do, I do, I read every comment and um, I love hearing what you guys are thinking. So if you want to drop a comment below on this, I'd love to read it. Um, and, uh, but please, 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 everybody stay safe and don't get vaccinated this vaccine stuff it's been going on for such a long time we've got to wake people up to this ciao